Oh, you really could do some damage. I mean, you can take that onto the battlefield. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, we. You know what we forgot to do? We never. We never <laughs> cut it. We didn't cut the other end off. <laughs> we are in no way. No. Uh, perfect like, or even good. We're not exactly DIYers. <laughs> uh, Hi there, you folks. I don't know if you'd agree with this sentiment, but nothing says Christmas to me quite like mobile home renovation. It's on that note that I'd like to welcome you to a special Christmas edition of Work With Me Wednesday where I'm gonna be helping my dad do some pretty cool updates and renovation on their mobile home. Let's get to it. So you guys might remember it wasn't that long ago, the last episode in fact, that we were in here checking out some of dad's handiwork here in the mobile home, their cabin. I'm going to start calling it the cabin. The cabin, the bungalow. The bungalow. I like <laughs> bungalow because you didn't see this last time, but check out what dad was able to accomplish on this far wall. I'm going to turn on, turn down the... I'll turn the music down. <clears throat> little Christmas tunes. Little Christmas tunes. Look at this. Incredible what you've been able to accomplish here. And so today, I'm going to actually help you finish this wall. Appreciate that. And then we're going to take on some other tasks, right? Yeah. So as we kind of march our way up this wall, it becomes a little, little more complex just mm -hmm. with the angles and a couple of other things take too long to describe. But it becomes a little more complicated. So it's great that you're helping out. We've got to figure out some angles, uh, get these last couple of boards up there. And once that is done, we need to take a look at the ceiling. Uh, there are some kind of some settling cracks that have happened along the center beam mm -hmm. area. So we need to spackle that or, or mud that in and then actually paint that ceiling. We've got all the other uh, walls and or ceilings in here painted so one of the things as as I was working on this wall I was trying to um, just be really precise about kind of the uh, kind of the edges getting in really tight and close and it eventually occurred to me um, that I'm I'm going to be putting a little piece of trim along the perimeter, kind of as I've already done in this other area. There will be some some trim. So I finally gave up on trying to to get it, you know, extremely tight because there's going to be um, Gaps. probably probably yeah, and I don't know if it'll be an inch and a half or two inch trim that's going to cover that up in some of these areas. So as you're looking around, you'll see sort of where I started kind of working on getting things really tight and close and <laughs> eventually, especially with these angles, just kind of gave up um, mm -hmm. and decided, you know, well, with the trim, I don't, I don't need it's to not be super as, precise. It's not as important. Are you, we going to be working on the trim today or is that something that'll happen on the later date? Uh, depending upon how much we get done, you know, again, getting those, those boards figured out and put up and then getting the ceiling painted just kind of depends. So working, working out the angles um, can be a trick if you don't have uh, something like this. Uh, you might remember this. Um, I, I, I took like a, a class in high school a um, hundred thousand years ago. <laughs> um, but it's a an angle finder or a protractor uh, and it it just makes finding these angles a whole lot easier instead of just guesswork. So that's kind of the first thing we'll do. I'm Pretty sure it's going to be the same angle that we've been working with but mm -hmm. these these ceilings um you never know so we'll double check with the protractor make sure we've got some good angles and that'll help us when we go out to the garage to make the uh, cuts. make the cuts it doesn't have to be super precise just because again we're going to be covering up Okay, um, knowing that might give us a little bit of... Yeah, a little bit of leeway, a little flexibility. These two boards here will be plenty for the rest of that one line that we're going to be working on. And they're stained. And they're stained already. <clears throat> I had thought about making it all just one, but I would have had to stain an entire new board, and I want to save some of those boards for yeah. some other work that I'm doing. These were left over from other cuts. Cut. Shoot, why not use it? Yeah. Uh, we'll have a little bit of, you know, we'll have a seam in the middle, but that's okay. You kind of expect that with yep. the time groove stuff. Yeah, we've got enough clearance for the jigsaw. Well, 
voila. Voila. Perfect cut. Well, we'll see how it all pans out here in just a second. Moment of truth. Yep, drum roll. You really could do some damage. I mean, you could take that onto the battlefield. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> sometimes be half the battle yeah the, the challenge especially when you're uh, I heard, just heard a click that seemed nice yeah, it's good. I mean, now I mean, how is it doing in terms of mallet. it seems like it's looking good I think that worked out off of the edge of that board we just put up. So I'm gonna put this right kind of on the corner here and then and then fiddle with and once once you get that dot that laser dot um, or if you can right yeah there. then press the button there's a little button oh, I lost it if you can yeah three foot ten like right on the nose that's what it says looks slightly different yeah let me try again let me get Oh, uh, it's it's pretty doggone close. What was it before? It was like eleven three, I think. Now it's eleven point zero. Oh. Second moment of truth. Now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want to put it up there? Sure. Or? Okay. All right. So you want to do the filming honors? Yeah. Oh, we, you know what we forgot to do? We never, we never cut it. <laughs> we didn't cut the other end off. <laughs> I'm glad we got this on video. So yes. you guys know, we are in no way no uh, perfect like, or even good. <laughs> we're, we're not, we're not exactly DIYers. Uh, we're, we're attempting, but uh, so what happens? <laughs> This is not a how-to video, number one, and I think Correct. what just happened illustrates that. Illustrates <laughs> why this is not a how-to video. But I think it's a good documentary on what DIYers, average DIYers, run into. So yeah. we made the angle cut, but we neglected to make the actual length right. cut. Right. So as soon as I got up there, Dad and I both realized <laughs> we missed a pretty important major step. Yeah. Let's go take care of that. <laughs> We'll use our, use our uh, speed square. Let's give it another shot, shall we? Yeah, let's see how it works out this time. All right, get the groove in. It looks like it's a little over, but... It's still not grooved in. Good. Do you think we might need to slice off? It's oh, wait, you got it? Okay, yeah, before you push it way down, you want it a little loose so that we can make that move. Um, you, can, you can pull back on it and lift it out. Yeah, there we go. So there is a bit of a gap here. And that's fine. How, uh, how big is the trim going to be? It's, or how it's wide? It's going to be uh, like an inch and a half. Oh. Okay, because this is, this is maybe, it's big. It's like a quarter of an inch. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and that's actually in keeping with the board directly underneath it. Um, there's probably even more than that. Things um, we were chatting about a moment ago is as you get closer to the ceiling, there's just no way that you can position the nail gun uh, to hide the nail up in the on the tongue mm, yeah. which is what you do with the rest of these boards and again there's just there's going to be trim so just get it just up there and that in. inch and a half or whatever the trim is going to be yeah just throw a couple of nails in so this last piece seems like it would be the easiest because it's the smallest i'll show you this piece right here, but it's actually probably the most complex because as you can see, there's, there's a curve here 
So we need to account for that curve when we're making a cut. So we're trying to think of how we can accurately trace. Yeah, yeah, maybe just make uh, kind of a template for that. You can use cardboard or whatever. Uh, just sort of set it up there and and make a, uh, a kind of a traced template. Give it a shot. It's worth a shot at least. Yeah. One thing to keep in mind, too, is most of this is going to be covered. Yeah, that's true. So it doesn't need to be perfect at all. There you go. Yeah, let me get the top part in. Finished. A little piece does on the end. It's a start. It's a start, yeah. Okay. A whole lot to worry about. I just kind of have to get it in the general neighborhood. Okay. How's it look? Should do the trick. Is that a smile? I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you're. So the plan is, so we'll be able to fit it in, you're going to cut this back lip off. Right. right? Perfect. Nice. Look at that. Yep. And it doesn't have to be, um, I mean, we may have to come back and flush that up. But as long as we can get a bite, a little with bit the of nail. a lip, yeah. Where's my finale? Yeah, right there. Thank you. Nice. That feels good. It does. You might not even need to nail it. No, actually, I don't think I'll need to. Well, because you will be putting the trim, trim over, it. over it. Yeah, I might stick a nail on there. Well, it's good to have got the. You're gonna take up spackling now, right. and then painting, and I'll I may come back and help you paint. Um, okay. But for now, I think we really wanted to get this wall being finished on video, and it's pretty cool to see. It's got to be very rewarding seeing this come together so quickly. It it is, um, and it it really does kind of um, help with the. I don't know if motif is too fancy a word, cabin but kind of look. that cabin feel that we were we were going for. And there there are more elements of that to come. Nothing quite as dramatic as this, but mm -hmm. you know, we'll have other places where we're gonna do some trim work and some more of these strips that will go down on the kitchen side of things. So there's there's some more elements I think that will help add to that that cabin feel. But this this is sort of the granddaddy of them all and generally happy with i mean the, the closer you lean into it the more problems you can see but for the most part i think it turned out okay it looks so. it looks great well glad i was able to help in a small measure but if nothing else i was here recording recording the goodness glad oh, yeah, i was able to help with that gave me some good ideas so. um so thanks for hanging out with us guys merry christmas yes happy new year i'm sure i'll probably have another video up before New Year. Maybe, maybe not before Christmas, but Merry Christmas to you guys, and uh, we will see you next time. Until we do see you, remember, as always, slowly, slowly, he said it.